Hey everyone, so as you can see, now we are descending. Um, so we've reached the green line and now the aircraft is bringing us down onto a VNAV path um, in back into the runway at Bristol. As you can see here, if you wonder where this green line constantly moving is, it's basically where we're going to reach the altitude that we have set. So we're setting 10,000 feet and this is where the aircraft is predicting us to reach 10,000, which is just after a man um, waypoint where we're meant to be hitting 15,000 there. So that's on track. This diamond little shape here basically is showing us if we're a bit higher, a bit lower if we're on track. So in the middle is where we're in like the is when we're in like the better being of path right here. Um as you about fifty feet too um low. That's okay. The aircraft will deal with it. See now it's bringing us up. So it knows. <laughs> and um yeah so essentially that is all we really have to do um until we reach about ten thousand feet and then it starts to get a bit more interesting. So until then I'll leave you. Okay, until it's now just approaching ten thousand feet. So we're gonna start reducing altitude down to about three thousand now. It's quite turbulent here. As you can see, aircraft's like swaying around quite a bit. Um, now we're going to start doing our 10,000 feet check. So go to the overhead panel, and up here we're going to pop on the seatbelt signs, like so, just to tent the cabin. And we're going to pop on all of our landing lights. No? Do it myself then. All the landing lights, runway turn of flights, and taxi lights on as well, and engine start switches back to continuous. Um, we're also going to set our auto brake, auto brake number two for arrival for the kind of runway we're landing on that kind of seems a bit. Um, that seems fair enough to me. Um, but yeah, now we've kind of got to do the steady process of kind of just watching the plane go um, descend into the final destination, which is Bristol, not too far away. So we're going to follow the line and then the aircraft take us in and then into 27. Coming in 240 knots. Um, I like to reduce the speed just a bit as we start to get down so it's a bit more manageable. So right now I'll probably start reducing to about two two five. I'll probably start setting flaps one now as well, just to ensure that we have a nice stable speed. And if any if the wind changes and it doesn't, you know, cause um, us to be over speeding at one point, <laughs> don't want that. There you go. So also when you set a flaps out, obviously this red means over speed. You can't really go. You walk. You should not ever go into the over speed bit that causes stress and damage to the aircraft so we don't want to be doing that not today anyway not today so um yeah i see we're sending quite slow we can now switch our qnh over to 1016 1016 on that side as well and also now we can start switching our ILS frequency 110.15 and as you can see that um, purple diamond just appeared for the horizontal not the vertical but the horizontal part has appeared Here is our arrival into Bristol. So we're going to fly directly over it and then we can do our own little circle win. I actually would recommend that we go direct to CF27 actually. So the reason I'm going to go direct to CF27, you do that by clicking the waypoint and then placing it um, and replacing it to the one above is because it was going to take us directly on here where now we can come to the left of the runway and do a little circle majority of the time it doesn't happen, I'm just showing an airport on arrival that has a bit of a difficult arrival so um, yeah don't worry too much about that um, we're going to set a few bits of spoilers now just to make sure our speed steams, um, stays stable we'll go to about 210 knots and we can set flaps 2 so basically here all we're doing is slowly reducing the speed and then slowly setting the flaps out just to kind of um, just to kind of you know make sure the speed and uh, I can't get my words out I'm trying there's a word I'm looking for and I can't think of it basically make sure the speed is just staying where it should be and not going too fast as you can see here we are predicted to reach 3,000 feet just around here and at CF27 we should be at 2,500 or above so we're going to reduce this now to 2,500 so we know that we'll get 2,500 or above just in time. Um, I'm going to take over with vertical speed here because we are descending just that bit too quick. So vertical speed, essentially you um, you manage how fast you descend and the green line helps. So I'm trying to aim for this green line to get to 2,500 just before CF27. So as you can see, that's absolutely fine there with the descent rate of 1,500. And once you switch to vertical speed mode, um, VNAV disables because you are you are literally you know um, controlling the vertical pitch 
about to go into the thick cloud now. It looks really steep when it's like that, but it's not. <laughs> we're not descending, we're not okay, pushing. So we're going to start reducing speed now to 180 knots. As you can see, we're not too far out. We can also reduce that descent speed a bit more because we're slowing down. And we're going to set flaps 5. Just about to reach 2500, so now's a good time to arm um, approach APP, which is here. Now, what the approach button will do it is will um, line us up with the ILS once we obviously face the right way. <laughs> so, 180 knots is good now for this kind of arrival and this kind of turn. Um, we'll reduce to 160 very shortly, and 160 knots will keep that until 4 DME. What we'll do now is arm the spoilers. There we go. And if you put that into the little arm position there, so by clicking down, as you can see, we have a green light here that says speed brake arm. That's how we know the spoilers are armed. So once we touch down and arrive, the spoilers will deploy, which is the little things on here to slow down the aircraft. And there you go, start on the right turn now to line up with the runway. I love riding to Bristol, I don't know why, it's just a great, nice arrival. As you see the purple line's changing quite a bit, so we've got to go much right, much further right, which we are doing. Don't worry if it goes off a little bit, that's fine. Uh, we're going to reduce speed now to 160, the aircraft will match it anyway. We are 6 miles out, so we're going to keep 160 to 4 DME and then we'll reduce to our final landing speed. Now the 4 DME mark, as you can see, is a DME 6, that's how many miles out you are. Once that gets to 4.0, we'll reduce it to our final landing speed. Um, but right now we can set flaps 10. As you can see, the next yellow bits drop, the red lines comes down. We can't go into that bit of speed there. Right, as you can see, approach, well it's meant to be armed. I'm assuming it is armed. Because um, as you can see here, we have the purple diamonds and they are somewhat in the middle, but it will just align us up with them very shortly. Just going to get one more time. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yes, it is. So, approach has been armed. As you can see, we are now descending on the glide path, and the aircraft will try and line us up as best as it can. As you can see, we're literally on the path. There's four miles. So now, if we go to inner ref page, as you know, uh, this changed. So, 118 is our final landing speed. So, we'll set 118. And we're now going to go flaps 15 and gear down. There's our gear. There's flat 15 being set. And right now the aircraft is controlling this. We are not controlling the arrival. There's a the runway in sight. Next degree of flat, flat 25. There we go. Red line comes down. Flaps 30. And we'll wait a bit longer until flaps 40. Okay, now to disconnect the autopilot, what you want to do is press this disengage button here. Autopilot disengaged. Switch that off by clicking that red button there. And now I have control. I'm going to set flaps 40, which is the final landing speed. So your final stage of flaps. We also want to disarm the auto throttle here as well. So I'm trying to do all things here. There we go. Oh, a bit much. I see we've got a bit of a crosswind coming in. So okay, now trying to keep on speed about 118. And now 50. reduce the throttle to idle, a bit of right yeah. rudder and a bit of a flare. Touchdown. There we go. Now I see the reverses have deployed by pressing F2 on my keyboard. That might be different for you, but there's the reverses and the spoilers. Sixty knots, manual braking. There we go. Spoilers have now come. Sorry, reverses have now um, finished, or they've 
going back to idle now and now we're controlling the throttle again as you can see we can now do actually we'll vacate and then we'll do the rest of the bits and bobs that we need to do here so just taxi down to the end of the runway there we go make a right turn off of here bit bumpy isn't it okay so once we've lined up here we can start doing all of our details so the first thing we want to do is just slow down a bit to have more time is disarm the spoilers so spoilers can now come up there we go spoilers are gone um, back down again flaps can come up as well I press F5 on my keyboard to do that or you can just keep pressing the up arrow so there you go flaps will start to come up now Auto brake can be switched to the off position, like so. And down here, we can now switch our ILS frequency so we don't have the. Oh, to be fair, we still do. Just like if you just like randomize it, it might go. There we go. So ILS frequency has now disappeared. Um, flight directors can come off. We don't need the flight directors on now. Go to the um, pedestal down here. This can be switched to TA. And we also want to get rid of weather. We don't need the weather radar anymore. Overhead panel, landing lights need to come off. Runway turn flights off, taxi lights can stay on. Um, now the strobe needs to go back to steady, like we were taxiing before. Now what we want to do is start the APU. So once again, APU onto the start position, like so. We can also turn on the APU bleed. And that's all. Now you've got to do is find the stand. find the closest one to us not these ones actually I don't mind actually yeah we might as well do these ones let's go 38 so once you reach your stand number to stop blinding the um, ground crew I suggest you turn off the taxi lights like so and then <laughs> the taxi lights can come off now and then we'll start turning into our stand here As you can see, there is a person waiting for us. I did not do that. It happens to be there. There we go. So now we're arriving on stand. We can stop the clock as well. So 51 minutes in total. Not bad, that. And yeah, we can stop there. I mean, we're a bit bit far out, but it's fine. Parking brake is now set, as you can see. Go to overhead panel. As you can see, the APU is ready to be turned on. So APU gens on. And now what you can do is cut off the engines. So to, to stop the engines, reduce. So put that to cut off and cut off down there as well. As you can see, the engines are now spooling down. Engines are now turning off. Go into the overhead panel again. Um, packs need to come off. Eye session valve to auto, electrics off, pro peaks off, and the fuel pumps can come off. We need to keep one of them on for the APU. These will come back to off as well. Anti collision light off, so we're not in a moving position. We're now going to stay here for a bit, so that needs to, the red light needs to come off. Um, this can be switched to APU gen. Um, if you want to grab the ground power, you can, um, but for now, we'll just set the TCAS to standby. And um, what we can then do is start to shut down everything else. So ground services, set the wheel chocks and request the ground power. Once the ground power has arrived, see a blue light here. There it is. On goes the ground power, off goes the APU. Simple as that. Now we can switch off that fuel pump. Um, APU can also come off here. And you might as well switch off the steady lights because it's going to shut down the aircraft now. Seatbelt signs off, chime off, window heats can also come off like so. Um, IRSs can come off as well and then if you look at the IRSs here now we don't have any display 
or navigation. And most SLI lights switch back to off. This can go to ground power, um, and that is good. Um, your damper has been switched off already, so everything here now is in kind of like a ready to kind of turn off the ground power. To be honest with you, um, so yeah, that is back to standby. That's all good down there. Um, this can just be put onto the inner ref page. Why not? And um, yeah, there you have it, one. So now, if you turn off the batteries, as you can see, the aircraft has got no battery power. And turn off the ground power. The aircraft is now in a shutdown um, state. So yeah, um, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And um, like I said, it's mainly for beginners. So um, yeah, if you want to see another one, I'll probably do the Phoenix A320 at some point as well. But um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Let me know if, you, if it helped you. And um, I hope to see you all in the next video. And if you're new here, please subscribe. Give the video a like. It means a lot. Thank you very much. Bye bye.